Welcome to 21st Sports, and we're going to be talking about the Tampa Bay Buccaneers and their hiring of Dirk Cutter as their new head coach. Dirk Cutter was their offensive coordinator last year, and Lovey Smith had been the head coach initially. I was actually uh, somewhat upset that they had uh, fired Lovey Smith, and I really didn't see them making a hiring that would make sense, but... I actually think that this is a good move by the Bucks to have Dirk Cutter be their head coach. And it's the one hiring that actually makes sense for Tampa Bay. This, uh, the one thing that I thought that I was trying to stress is that they needed consistency. And by keeping Cutter, that keeps consistency with where they had success in 2015. Whereas it also allows them to make the improvements in where they had some failures in this season. And the thing was, is Lovey Smith, of course, was known for his defense, but the defense for the Bucks was their weak spot. Their defense had not been living up to expectations, whereas on the offensive side of the ball, Dirk Cutter was doing a really good job as the Bucks were fifth in yards. Specifically, their running game was very strong in 2015, as they had the fifth most rushing yards and by having the fifth most rushing yards that allowed them to have the fifth most overall yards although their passing game struggled somewhat but being that it was a you know rookie year for Jameis Winston he actually showed a lot of signs of what he will be in the future and he can build upon that success and keep that continuity with Dirk Cutter staying on to be the now the new head coach and so to stick with that system. And now Dirk Cutter has also brought in Mike Smith, who formerly was the head coach for the Falcons. And Dirk Cutter was the offensive coordinator under Mike Smith from 2012. And he was there in Atlanta until 2014. And with Mike Smith as head coach and Cutter's offensive coordinator, back in 2012, the Falcons, if you will remember, were 13 and three that year and they had the number one offense so they were a really good team and Matt Ryan put up some good numbers with Dirk Cutter and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers are hoping that Jameis Winston will be able to put up numbers comparable to that even surpass those numbers and Cutter's had some experience in the NFL as an offensive coordinator this is his first head coaching job at this level although he was the head coach on the collegiate level with Arizona State and Boise State. He was the head coach at Boise State from 98 to 2000, and he was the head coach at Arizona State from 2001 to 2006 before making the jump up to the NFL and being the offensive coordinator for the Jaguars. And he was in Jacksonville as the OC from 07 to 2011 before taking over the job in Atlanta, as I said, from 2012 to 2014. And then just this last year was his first year in Tampa Bay. So the Buccaneers going with Dirk Cotter. Like I said, uh, he had a lot of success back in 2012 with the Falcons as they were one of the best teams that year. And they had a lot of success through their passing game and their running game and on offense and, of course, their winning percentage. And the way that the Bucks were running the ball this year is going to help out a lot towards Jameis Winston in his early years in his career as he's going to be around for a long time, hopefully in Tampa Bay. I mean, he could play for another 15 years is, uh, you know, as long as he stays healthy. And so as he's developing, and he's already a pretty developed quarterback, he's already very competitive. I mean, you see the job that uh, Cotter was able to do with the offense and Winston and how they actually put together more wins this year than they had last year. And if the defense had been a little better, they might have actually had a winning record. They even had a shot at making a wild card there down the stretch, you know, in the final month. But then they kind of fell off somewhat. And a lot of that had to do with the defense. And Mike Smith should be able to come in and sure up that defense. So I think it's a good move by the Tampa Bay Buccaneers to have Dirk Cutter stay in the building as he's now the new head coach. I guess you could say it's a promotion of sorts. But I, initially, I thought they were 
cleaning house, getting rid of the whole coach and staff when it first came down the news about Lovey. But now that uh, you know the dust settled and Dirt Cutter has got the job, and I think that's a good thing. That's one of the most important things is to keep consistency. You don't want to keep changing coaches and changing systems, especially when you have a young quarterback. You want to keep the same system just to have that continuity, that consistency to be able to build upon your successes. And there was a lot of successes to take away from 2015, although technically, you know, it was a losing season below 500. But they definitely have the building blocks and the foundation in place to build upon moving forward in the future. And there's no reason why the Bucks can't be a winning team in 2016 with Dirk Cutter at the helm and Mike Smith running the defense. So it'll be interesting to see what happens next year. It's going to be a tough division next year. You already see the Panthers still in the playoffs. They're 15-1. and one. And, of course, the Falcons, they've been building up as well. And then you got the Saints, too. So the South, from a year ago, you know, it was one of the worst divisions. And now the South is really turning around and becoming one of the tougher divisions in football there in the NFC. But let me know what you think in the comments section below if you like the hiring of Dirk Cutter or if you uh, maybe thought there was some other candidate. And he's been a coach for quite some time, going all the way back to 85 in the NCAA when he was with San Francisco State. And then he was at UTEP from 86 to 88 as a QB coach. And then at Missouri from 89 to 93 as the OC slash QB coach. And then in BC, Boston College, 94-95. And then Oregon from 96 to 97 as he was the offensive coordinator at BC and Oregon before, as I said earlier, becoming the head coach at Boise State for three years and then going to Arizona State as the head coach for six years before coming up to the NFL. So he does have experience being a head coach, not in the NFL, but at the college level. So it's nothing necessarily new to him. And he's got plenty of experience as being a coach. He's actually 57 years old. What does that matter necessarily? I mean, age is uh, a number. But the thing is, is through his years, he's been building up a lot of experience. So he's a very tenured coach with a lot of football knowledge that he will be imparting it and keeping in the building there at Raymond James Stadium, and that's always a good thing. Like I said, let me know what you think in the comments section below. Definitely interested to read your thoughts and opinions. Thank you very much for listening. It's greatly appreciated. I hope you're having a good day and had a great weekend, and have a great week, and enjoy all the sports.